Hello, everyone. Sorry, today we are whoops, going to review the movie Immortals. Uh, I actually forgot that Henry Cavill... Sorry, I feel like that's far away. I, I forgot that Henry Cavill was even in this. Uh, and Mickey Rourke, I guess. Um, I'd forgotten the cast of this movie, but... Um, I guess this might have been where... Kind of where Henry Cavill got his start. Was he in anything big before this? Because this was well before Superman, because this movie is from 2011, so it's it's actually a decade, almost decade old now. It is a decade old now, I guess. I don't know why this uh, isn't loading for me here, but anyway, let me just switch off Wi-Fi for a second and see if that helps. It's probably because I've got so much stuff running on my internet right now. Uh, yeah, I guess, wow. Because Man of Steel was in 2013. So yeah. I guess he wasn't really in too much before that. Huh. That was like really, really big. Interesting. Now, I don't know. I can't remember how well this movie did in theaters. And I don't even think I'd really... I don't, I don't remember if I went to see this one in theaters or not. But anyhow, I feel like I've done kind of an intro, I guess. Um, but this follows the story of Theseus, who is a mortal warrior. I wouldn't really say... It says here that he was chosen by the gods, but he wasn't really uh, chosen more... Or maybe, I guess he kind of was, because I guess Zeus visited him as a friend uh, through his childhood... And, uh, yeah, so I guess maybe he was kind of chosen to lead an army against Prince, Prince, I guess, King Hyperion, um, who is played by Mickey Rourke. Um, I think, <laughs> I'm just going to say that Mickey Rourke got a little jacked for this movie, because he had, like, and Mickey Rourke's a pretty big dude anyway, I guess, so, I mean, I guess it wasn't really... It kind of answered my question of who would win in a street fight anyway, because I was kind of like, I don't know if Henry Cavill would be able to take uh, Mickey Rourke in real life, but uh, he couldn't, he didn't really even take him in this movie, oh my god, Mickey Rourke literally beat him till he was almost dead, and uh, Henry Cavill got lucky with a, it was almost like an MMA move switch into like an arm bar and then like a full mount move. And then he stabbed him in the throat with uh, a knife, and it was like, ugh, such a brutal death. But anyhow, uh, I guess I kind of just told you the end of the movie. Sorry. I just feel something on my lip there. Anyway. <clears throat> um, what was I saying? Oh, so, yeah. Following the story of Theseus, uh, who is trying to take down King Hyperion, uh, based on the fact that King Hyperion uh, stormed his village and killed his mother, and he joins this girl, uh, Federa, who is, is it the Oracle? The or yeah, she's the Virgin Oracle. Anyway, um, eventually, uh, and she can have these visions. Uh, but eventually, she says that the visions. She agrees with Theseus, saying that the visions are a curse. So she decides that she is going to um, sleep with Theseus, <laughs> sleep with Theseus, and then her visions will go away, so she can live life by her own rules and see life through her own eyes. Because she can see the future, but she can't change it. And so, at the end of the movie, Theseus has a son after he dies and becomes a, I guess, a god himself. Because uh, yeah, I guess he kind of earned his place as a god. So now there's a war in the heavens. Um, it shows at the end because his son can have these visions now. So he, I guess he was kind of blessed with a son. Um, I wouldn't really say blessed because obviously he had to... <laughs> he had to have uh, had relations with the girl, right, in order to um, have a son in the first place anyway. So, yeah. I guess it was kind of a blessing because he died, so I guess his legacy can live on through his son because uh, King Hyperion's thing was uh, you want to 
make a name for yourself so that people will remember you throughout history, but I guess nobody will really remember King Hyperion. They'll remember Theseus for overcoming King Hyperion, I guess. So I guess King Hyperion will have a, a, na a name in history, in, at least in this movie. Obviously, because this is, I think this it might be based loosely on history, but it's probably mostly fictional for the most part. I guess the gods and th stuff not uh, being able to interfere with uh, the rest of the world because they're not supposed to interfere with history, I guess. They're supposed to let men write their own. Uh, but they do eventually intervene when these other creatures are released after King Hyperion releases these other creatures because he's looking for the, uh, what was the, what was the name of the bow? Um, oh, I can't remember. The, oh, the Epirus bow, right. Um, so it has, obviously, unhuman-like powers. Um, I believe it's a, like, a god-like weapon, basically, and anybody who has their hands on it obviously has the ultimate power, right? So that's what King Hyperion is after this entire movie. And he re literally stops at nothing to get it into his hands and ends up, ends up dying for it in the end. Um, just because, yeah, <laughs> he uh, didn't think his whole plan through, I guess. Um, and obviously didn't think that the gods were going to get involved, or maybe that was his plan, and he was hoping all the gods would die, and then he'd be able to, uh, rule over all the lands, right, with his new army, I guess. But, oh my god, the battle scenes in this were, like, kind of reminded me of 300 a bit, and, uh, King Hyperion's mask, if you've ever seen The Mummy, kind of reminded me of, uh, the creature Anubis, um... The, I guess, kind of like wolf-type creature, really. Is that what Anubis was? I have to go back and watch the Mummy movies now, just to remember. But anyhow, um, yeah. What else was I going to say? Oh, yes, the action scenes in this were really uh, unique, uh, I would say, because it was kind of like the gods were moving in normal motion, and they had the slow-mo... Um, Everybody else moving in slow motion when they were around, which I, I would imagine was really hard to do because I don't know how you'd shoot that exactly. Because I would, I would think that you would have to uh, shoot it so that everybody else moves. Like we could have to shoot it where one person moves fast through the room, and then the other people come in and move slower or. Yeah, I would say that you'd have to shoot two different scenes almost. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they would do that. It's interesting though. Um, definitely made for some cool action scenes. And oh my god, like uh, the rest of the movie seemed like pretty mild. But when the gods came in and fought, it was just like a giant gore fest. Um, yeah, so if <laughs> I would say if you're a little uh, squeamish, don't watch this movie because <laughs> yeah, the 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 amount of blood. It was, it was like Quentin Tarantino directed scenes, but only for those scenes. It was so weird. The rest of the movie was, um, I mean, there was plenty of action and violence in this movie, but those scenes were just like over the top almost. <laughs> I mean, it made, uh, it made the movie, uh, a lot more epic, I guess, cause they were gods. So I guess it kind of made sense that they would be, uh, more powerful, obviously, and would be able to cause more destruction. <clears throat> uh, there was one one more thing that I wanted to touch on that I noticed in this one. Um, one of the guys from King Hyperion's army, when they're in the tunnel, fighting uh, Theseus and his, uh, I guess, kind of... I wouldn't say it wasn't his army, but the army he had joined to fight Hyperion. One of Hyperion's guys... <laughs> I've been I've been in my fair share of mosh pits, so it was kind of like a wall of death. But I just had to laugh because the one guy charges in and then throws <laughs> instead of like jumping or like trying to do anything, just like lifts, just jumps up and throws a like two footed drop kick <laughs> into this other guy's shield. I was just like, oh, that that dude um, will probably if you've ever seen this movie, that dude's gonna go down in movie history as the drop kick guy for me anyway, because I, I just, yeah, I just thought that was funny that 
who leads into a drop kick when you're um, going into battle. But uh, yeah, kudos to that guy for throwing that in there in that scene for that movie because yeah, that just that was just an epic thing to do, um, and it made it made me kind of laugh because I was like, geez, <clears throat> I guess maybe it's a good way to hit the ground, and then you could. I guess you're under the shield and maybe you could sneak through the ranks. I don't know. It's just just kind of funny to me. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, t uh, uh, 10 out of 10 on this movie. Um, I forgot the cast that was in it. There Obviously, there were other people that were in this movie, that, uh, but I'm not going to name them all. My God, there were so many. But uh, yeah, the gods, uh, I believe it was, was it Athena. Obviously, Zeus. Uh, Lysander. Um, who else was in there? Yeah, Athena, Ares, Poseidon. Oh, Hercules was in there too. Okay, cool. Huh. I guess, Icar was Icarus one of the gods? Apollo. Yeah, interesting. There were a lot. Oh, and also, the, uh, the one character was named... I believe it was just the beast, wasn't it? Anyhow, that dude was big. Most of the most of the dudes in this movie seem to be like, I guess, because maybe Mickey Rourke was a big dude himself. They just made his security detail in this movie. I'm gonna say it was security detail, basically even bigger, just because. Yeah. So the beast scene where Henry Cavill has to fight him that was pretty insane because that dude just like. Henry Cavill's not a small dude, but that dude just like threw him around like a rag doll in that scene. And uh the the other bodyguard that uh um that King Hyperion had, uh the gods ended up intervening to kill him because I don't think Henry Cavill might have been able to. I think that guy might have been too strong, so but yeah, all all in all this movie is really good. I believe I said 10 out of 10 on this movie. Um, so please, because I, think, I believe I've covered everything now, uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on this film if you've seen it. If not, please do go watch it. Um, if you're squeamish, maybe just cover your eyes for the scenes with the gods, but it is action-packed, so if you like action movies, definitely go watch this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.